Right. Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and today, as you can see behind me, the teleporter well is at the house and we have the light bar as you can see there. So we are in the process <coughs> of putting it on the teleporter. So my father has done a little bit already, you can see there. I hope you can see anyways, oh, it should be bright enough. We can see there he's grinded around the edges. We're going to be welding on the brackets. He's just going to cut off this bit because we can't get straightened. Is it grinded down there so it's ready to go welded on. But I suppose just to make sure I get this video right. This video is sponsored by LED Autotech for all your lighting needs to have a huge selection of led light bars spotlights markers flashers all of that kind of stuff you head down in the description down below you can head over to their facebook page where they have some reviews and some uh, videos of some of the products that they sell and you give them a like there and you can head over to their website ledautotech.ie where you can shop and get whatever you need so we are what they sent me out is the i have to look it up now so what they sent me out was the aurora 30 inch uh 300 watt led uh scene light bar with 120 degree uh beam pattern so that's how much it lights up so i think my father yeah he has it off so he has the bit off now so this is what they sent me out so we're gonna pop this on the teleport we were debating why we're gonna put it on the umbilical system we were thinking of but as it stands, and you're probably well aware, the umbilical system has a 26 LED spots on it. Plus it's the closed season. Yeah. There's not much point putting any more on. I think we have enough on it. And um, the teleporter is a bit lackluster on lighting. So all it has on it at the minute, apart from a rear reversing light, is them two work lamps, which are absolute, absolutely SH1T. The wooden... Ah, oh, they wouldn't light up anything. So we're going to pop this on this now and we're going to see how that goes and we'll give an old review. I'll put the drone up. Now it's not going to be tonight obviously, but I'll put the drone up and we'll do a bit around the yard in the dark and we'll see what it looks like. And we will, because we're not going to take off them lights now, just so we can switch between the two and just show the difference between your old school, how's that, halogen bulbs? Yeah, 55 watt halogen bulbs versus 300 watt. LED light bars so that's it we'll get to it now the busby's been plugged in now so well I'm not gonna do any welding now me welding is like a duck shitting so yeah so we will get to it now and we will video installing this so anyways so you can't really see it down there but we'll be sitting in now and welding the two brackets on there and there and then that should fit in nicely. Just sits nice. We yeah, just yeah. So the reason we're welding it on and not going to you could extend it. Just don't fit just on spot on. Instead of welding on a bit another piece of steel to bolt it onto, it's one of our sheds is very. There's only a couple of inches clearance, and just to keep the clearance down on a. That's why we're going to weld it, weld the brackets on that bit down. Just literally leave it sitting on the top of the grill so that we have maximum clearance and then with the wiring there's a hole just in there you can't see it but from the other lights and that brings in our lighting into the inside of the cab so this is our wire in here so it brings it to the inside of the cab up there and then we just have to trace a wire down we'll pop in our switch in there and then trace the end of the wire out uh, i think my father said we'll just put it to the starter it's easier than going to the battery in this yoke but so that's the plan anyways so hopefully it shouldn't take too long it should be a savage job now it'll be definitely better than what we have so anyways we'll get to it now and we'll go buzz being
so now we have our light bar is on so but uh got that much done anyways so well the on put on as your my heart there my father just said very easy fitted now quite happy with that now look looks the part I had to give that just a little bit of a bend just to get the fit in right but other than that it's a very tidy fit very tidy fit so now we gotta do the wiring so go with this out of the way so we have this wiring harness should be long enough might just take off the door might leave it a little bit easier for working it Huh? Yeah. It'll be the part now. Looks good there. Just uh, perfect for the cab. Yeah. So now we have to up where the safety goggles are. You can just see it in there. That's where we'll have to shove in the light and then we just trace it down along the side under the panel. We replace so probably replace that switch there, it doesn't do anything. Pop the switch in there and then trace the wire underneath back into the engine to the starter and we are in business. So what's the best way that's going to work now? Which end is best going out? You nearly want the end of that coming in, would you? So this here, so that's the power there. So this should just pop in. Up there. And get the ground hold away. Yeah. That's it. So we got the connector inside the cab now. So that is as safe as safe could really be. That's the end. And that's the fuse. And there's the switch. <coughs> Very simple. We take out that. That button's doing nothing. I don't know yeah, what does. Me a, a Phillips screwdriver there. Phillips screwdriver. Yeah. Okie dokie. Right. And I could do it with me lad on my head. Lad on your head. I actually have one. Uh, I'll get it. It's a beanie. I'll get it for you. So we'll leave it at that for a second. I'll go get a few more tools and we'll get back to it. Phillips screwdriver. I don't even know where I'd start looking for one. Probably the last place they might have used one. And as you can tell, what has been done since I made the video? Absolutely fucking not. So, as it stands, he won't let me do any tidying unless he's here and he won't do any tidying until we get the loft in because he's afraid I'm going to dump something that he thinks is worth keeping. So, that'll be for another day. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Have a Phillips screwdriver now. No, 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 no. I'm saying nothing about your lovely shed. Huh? I could do it, you know. I know, could do it, you know. Alright, for now. Alright, lovely. Mess of wires. Yeah, power will it? Yeah, that'll be brilliant. That'll just sit in there, will it? I don't know what that button one is for. If any, anyone that's watching this video knows what that switch on the teleporter that has a so to speak arrow pointing one way and arrow pointing the other way does please let me know because it's never worked in this teleporter and I have absolutely no idea what it does so if you do know please let me know thank you what's, not an, what's the issue? Uh, the issue is to try and pull that cable up through the beam would you not just yeah, no, it'll be nice, nice and tidy. We can get in. I just figure out where it, where it enters the beam. So what you want to put in that beam and pull it down? That is it. Yeah. And then in there. Yeah. Be awkward about it. Jeez. 
I just do what we did with the aerial. Oh yeah, that's why things get cluttered up and not nice and yeah. tidy. What's wrong with that? It did the job when the radio worked. So we're just after doing a bit of a re-evaluation of the job. And we realised that the other loom we are putting in just wasn't long enough, so we're going with the longer loom. And we're going to trace it in from the back, so our battery is there. Just going to trace it in this, it has to go behind the seat. So we should get it in there then. And then we have to trace it behind the seat, just along the side. In underneath there, just put our switch into that, get the bit underneath that and up to there and we should. We may have to extend the leads to the battery but that isn't the end of the world. So that is the plan. So hopefully now this works. So now back out from T and what we have to do now, or well, it's the next thing to do anyways, we have to take off this back panel to give us a bit more space to see what we're doing so we can root in our wires in the right spots. So. Right. <clears throat> so now, just in case you're wondering, shaky cam. My gimbal is after dying, so we're down to shaky cams and I can't really put anywhere anymore. But anyways, we move this now, so we park it crossways, so we'll get better light in at it, so we can see what we're doing a little bit better. Soft wire. Soft wire. So I, right. It's running here. So anyways, it would have been better if we had a bit of soft tie and wire. That's mild steel, it's not high tensile. But it's done the job. Shoved it down through the channel and we have it out down there. So now we just have to pull in what we need and that'll pull it up to there and I'd say we'll probably get from there then over to there out and then hook up to our joint, which is, you might just be able to see it up there. Right, pull that back up there. Right, <coughs> pull this in now. While you're out there. So, in we should be able to get this pulled in now, in theory. Yeah. Just there, just literally in the hole, I can see it. And you have it out. Right, so that's one part of the puzzle put together. So now, lights. Quite good, so it is. Quite good, it's fucking brilliant. Yeah, like you can see the whole way out to the hedge of the road. I can see the ESP pole, the far side of the road. Can see it. Can see it. That's a good. What? Oh, that's a good hundred meters away. It's even more than a hundred meters away. That's quite good. That that is very good now. That is that. Jeez, you couldn't even look at that. Just that is bright. That is bright. Wow. That is, that is bright. Be interesting now, but as you can see, the switch is in my hand, so that's the next hurdle to overcome. Oh, that's easy done. Easy done as the do boss says. I done that. Oh, I can do this one. <laughs> It'll be the shortest and easiest way fucking possible. Oh. 
So now what's after happening, we've decided after trying to see could we fit the, that whole switch in, it's just no, well, it just doesn't suit just, it. Just not, just not going to fit in right without having to drill and trying to drill with a big drill bit, just it's not the ideal deal. So what we'll do is we'll go wire it into the yeah. switch. Original. Existing the original, switch. the existing switch that works the top two lights. Keep it, keep the dash. The keep same. the, keep the dash simple without doing too much messing with it. Mm. And we have lights. Lights, camera and action. So now, bit of tidying up. So now, put back on the back, close it up and probably gonna have to just do a little bit just to tidy that up. And as you probably can tell, I ain't the most mechanical person in the world. So, that's why I haven't done a whole lot bar hold the camera and the flashlight. That's about all I've ever done. Isn't that right? Yeah, well, you did never play with Lego, so. I left it up there. Go back to you, does it? Oh, it has to go over to me in a little bit. Take off the rag. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's not working. So now, that's the back on, back, the back, back on, and the air filter. And I'll hook back up, just tighten it in. I'll go and I'll tighten them now. So yeah, as we were saying there, that I know some people might say, why didn't you put behind the grill? It had covered too much of your viewing space for working that high up. But that is, that is a savage, savage lump of a job, so it is. Savage lump of a job. So if I can get my father back to say what he said off camera, on camera, I'd be doing, not doing too bad at all. But I'm um, just trying to find a drill now so we can just pop in a little place to hold the relay nice and neat just as my father said just to finish it off nicely so about these back up these are the glasses for when we sharpen the shear bucket that's why I have them left in here so that we have glasses safety first lads safety first as some people do always point out to me but anyways we'll see if we can find this drill and get this yoke put back on and then we'll just put back on the door and that's it finished our new LED light bar on and this is only going to be, this is one video and then there will be another video on working it and showing the other lights and them lights, bit of drone footage and all the rest, you know yourselves, the usual owl crack on all that crap, all the timber came from when we were remodeling there and there's still more stuff to be added on there, bit of a car canopy and that and they didn't get rid of timber because they're hoping some of it might be used for that and then the rest of it is sort of an add-on of we stopped working in there and then we started working out here and started getting dumped there and you know yourselves bit of a kip just a bit more than a bit of a kip but um yeah no that's that's a woeful light so that is jeez that is that has some light on that now I'm a dumb man, dumb man. <laughs> so now, <laughs> obviously I'm the dumber one. Anyways, <coughs> so now we have it fitted, and as you've seen there earlier, savage job. What do you think? I I did absolutely nothing but hold the camera and the torch, so no point in me talking about fitting it. What was your opinion on fitting it? Once we figured out where we wanted to put it, and put it on, I figured out the easiest way to wire it, which wasn't difficult. No. It only took a few minutes. Yeah. But it was to just get the, 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 the logistics of the whole job put together. Yeah. Very user friendly and a fabulous light. Yeah. Serious. About 20 times better than what was on it. Oh, easily. Yeah. Easily. I'll, I'll wire up one of the ones just to show some of the lights. Yeah. I'll wire up one of the old lamps before we take them off just so you can make a comparison. But there'll yeah. be no comparison. No. There, there is none like that. I, on the last time I showed you and when I was looking in the shed and I just showed the light. Someone says that uh, uh, light bar, you wouldn't, you w it couldn't see pissing distance. I can tell you now, if you can, if you can piss as far as that can, sh you can see with that. Now you're one fair man for one man. 
Jeez, it's, it has some, some it distance looks good. on it. It does good. We'll see what it's like when we're, when we're using it, but so far... So far, just, just sitting in the yard. Like 100%. You can see DSB poles across the lane, across, across the, the field, road. across the road, a good 100 metres 100 away. Meters like. away. Couldn't ask for better. But anyways, we're going to leave it at that. Hope you enjoyed this video. As you want to get yourself one of these LED light bars here, Aurora 30 inch 300 watt LED scene light bar, um, head over to ledautotech.ie and you can get yourself one as you go turn on the light. He turns on the light and I am absolutely blinded. Jesus. But, anyways, you want to get yourself one of them, head over to them lads over there. They look after you. They have a huge selection of LED lights, flashers, side markers, literally anything and everything you need when it comes to LED lights. So, we're going to leave it there. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, anything you want and need to know, I know I have a different beanie on, it has a little torch on it, but I'm back in stock now with my beanies. Um, they're after coming back. So, all the beanies caps. My uh, email for business inquiries and stuff, all of that, anything you can think of that you need to know or anything like that is in the description down below. Head down there if you want. Please like and subscribe to my channel. That is it from me. Good luck.